So, what do you guys want to talk about? Sorry, Cody Rhodes, I had to steal your line for this one. In the spirit of the Hart Foundation, the Hardys and the Dudleys, and the Usos, there's a new tag team in town hoping to take over the world of professional wrestling. WWE and Netflix are joining forces, a la the Mega Powers, stepping into the ring together for a 10-year deal. The WWE's flagship television show, Raw, will move to the streaming service beginning January 2025. It's a dramatic departure from Raw's 31-year relationship with Linear TV. The show currently attracts more than 2 million viewers each week on the USA Network. Netflix has its sights set on being head of the table when it comes to live streaming content. The WWE programming follows last year's Chris Rock special and its first live sporting event, the Netflix Cup Golf Tournament. We won't talk about the Love is Blind dumpster fire. Netflix also gets streaming rights to all of WWE's other offerings outside the U.S., including TV shows SmackDown and NXT, and live premium events like the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. I don't mean to break kayfabe here, folks, but let's get down to the real business at hand, the price. Everybody's got a price. That's right, Million Dollar Man, everybody does have a price. And this deal is valued at more than $5 billion, according to filings by TKO, the company formed with the WWE-UFC merger. That's nearly double the annual value of WWE's current Raw deal with NBC Universal. There goes WWE climbing the ladder to snag that money in the bank briefcase. The deal's for 10 years. Netflix has the option to extend the agreement if they don't want the ride to end, like fans clamoring for one more match from a retiring legend. But if it's a subscriber flop, the streaming giant can also opt out after the first five years. Any good. Oh, oh, I knew he was going to do that. I just knew he was going to do that. He don't need Janetti. If that's not enough, there's more big news happening in the WWE universe as WrestleMania kicks off. Someone just joined TKO's board of directors. Oh, I just remembered this. What's your name again? It doesn't matter what your name is. Oh, but it does. First, TKO is paying Dwayne The Rock Johnson $30 million in stock to promote the brand. And second, Johnson is gaining full ownership of his trademarked wrestling moniker, The Rock, meaning he'll cash in even more on his name, image, and likeness. What's next for the People's Champ? Perhaps a family feud where the newest member of the board agrees to take on his cousin, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns? That's another deal the millions. Literally millions of wrestling fans would love to see, if you smell what we're cooking.